Hello, Gemini viewers. So today I'm going to look into your situation and going to see what your person is feeling, thinking, um, what action they might be taking to towards you over the next couple of weeks or so. I'm also going to be looking into your energy as well. Um, I know with this group of Geminis that I usually channel, like I keep getting the energy that you're in the this like high priestess um, empress type energy where you're just a magnet for love and you have multiple secret admirers around you there's one in particular that is either in the friend zone or maybe someone that has liked you and be like a co-worker or somebody that's liked you for a while but they try to maybe they might be a little bit socially awkward like they try to hint at their feelings and maybe they've tried to even ask you out but it's kind of like you just didn't Maybe you weren't in the right mindset for it, so you didn't understand what they were trying to say, or you just hadn't really stopped to consider what kind of romantic connection might be there because maybe you were hung up on an ex. Um, and it's 444 right now, so you got a lot of angelic guidance and a lot of angelic protection. Probably your angels and your person's angels are well as well are trying to um, you know, push you guys together. I get the sense of divine intervention because the situation has been going on for a while where this person has wanted to confess their feelings for you and they just, it's like they stumble on their words or they just, it's never the right timing or they can't figure out how to say it or if you guys are close friends, maybe they're worried that they're gonna ruin the friendship or if you work together, they don't want it to be awkward. Um, it's just that kind of energy, but you have multiple people to choose from. That's what I keep getting for this group of Geminis is that you guys are very powerful and you just you're a magnet for love and you have been for a few months now where it's like you just you have multiple secret admirers you have at least one person maybe two or three people even stalking your social media like Facebook Instagram whatever you have um, you know kind of keeping tabs on you seeing who you're with maybe getting jealous if they see you going out with anybody else maybe. Um, you know checking out your pictures like looking at your pictures it's just that kind of energy where they're just someone's just really admiring you you they're really admiring your strength and your courage and your power and just your authenticity you know they they see you as different from other people they just they see i get i'm getting strength for a lot of you it's like it could be the way the way you're dressing or it's like something about you just radiates this like queen or king for some of you, it could be a you know, male or female. It's like you radiate this just very strong, powerful energy. Like you just, you know who you are and what you want. Even if inside you're faking it and you feel like you don't know who you are or what you want, but you're, you're, you're putting that energy out there. So however it feels to you, I don't know. But, but to them, it seems like you just completely know yourself. Like you're just a very strong, very seductive person this, in this person's eyes. Um, and so yeah, there there is this there's this consistent energy. Every time I tune in, is I get this consistent ener energy of someone stalking you, and it's like it kind of goes in circles where it's like they kind of feel hopeless sometimes, and then they come back and they try to make an effort, but it's like they either get caught up on their fear and they don't do anything, or they just they overthink it, and it's like it's consistent though. This person has been watching you for a while, and again, you might have multiple people watch that have been watching you for a while. So let's get in and see what the cards have to say. Um, I'm going to pull cards. So what do you need to know about your current path in general right now in your life? I'm just going to pull a few cards for that. Um, and then I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, and get some more detail into the, the stalking thing. So what's, what are you, what's, what about your life? What do you need to know about your, your path right now? Just whatever it might be. What do you need to know? Yeah, see? <laughs> Willpower, and before that we have confusion and uncertainty. But we have will, confusion, uncertainty, and then we have willpower, strength, and confidence, and submissive and weak-willed. So this person is submissive with you. I think multiple people are submissive with you. You're in this very dominant energy right now where the world is just your oyster and you can have the life that you want. And I think you're coming out of this period of depression or stagnation you know maybe things just hadn't been going well for you you were just kind of exhausted overworked whatever the situation might have been and you're finally coming out of that energy now and you're in your power you're you're you know you're it's mind over matter here it's like you you have this willpower and this strength and this confidence about you 
just this, this very high vibrational energy that you're coming into. You might be going through an ascension process as well. It kind of seems like it. Because, okay, see, because here we have confusion and uncertainty, which can kind of be like the before stages of the ascension process, like leveling up basically, like going on, getting on your spiritual path. Um, financial abundance, abundance when it comes to love, just abundance in all areas of your life is finally coming in for you. And like before, it's like confusion, uncertainty. So I think that you're kind of in limbo, maybe. It's like maybe you cut out some toxic people, but you're like, okay, well, when are the good people going to come in? Like, I just ended things with the, I just finally let go of the toxic ex, or I just finally let go of the toxic friends, or I, I left the dead end job. Like, where's, my, where are my blessings? And you, you kind of had to go through this period where it was just stagnant, where you were just healing, you know, finding yourself again. Um, just like this kind of period of just like silence, just going inward. And there was a lot of confusion. You're like, where's, where are my blessings at? Where there was just like this uncertainty, this fear of the unknown, just not knowing what was coming next. And um, you're finally coming out of that. And you, you know, you've got willpower, strength, confidence. You're, you're, more independent than you've been in the past you're really standing on your own two feet and you're um manifesting you're, you're taking it upon yourself to just manifest the life that you want and make life what you want to be basically and you have people that are submissive to you people are becoming more and more submissive with you um with this yeah with this dominant kind of energy that you're coming into this this asc this ascension that you're coming into it's like People are just blown away by you. They're just amazed by your strength and your power and, you know, your confidence. Um, yeah. And especially these people that are like, that are, you know, keeping tabs on you, kind of stalking you. It's like they're just, they're giving, someone's giving into their feelings for you more and more. It's like they can't really fight. You see this like woman is grabbing this man from behind and it's like he's, he's giving into the passion. He's not really fighting it. He's just like. He's like, this impress is too much for me. I can't fight this. I can't fight this kind of power and this kind of charm and this kind of seduction and this kind of energy, you know? Like, he's no match for that. He's giving into it. He's giving into passion and romance and love here. Um, yeah, okay, so here's what this is saying. So we have trapped, blocked. It's two different stories here. It's just kind of um, emphasizing what we just talked about. So we've got trapped, blocked, tied up stagnation and complacency so that's where you were at in the past and with some of you might have cats you might have like a kitty that's been kind of guiding you or like spirit animal maybe you maybe a cat or maybe you just have this connection to cats whatever it might be um it doesn't have to be cats so it could just be divine intervention in general you know your angels your gods and goddesses your your high vibrational beings fairies whatever it might be um it's like you were in this period of stagnation but, you know, divine intervention came in, you know, synchronicity is coming in, ascension is coming in, like your guides intervened with something. Maybe there were some toxic situations that you were refusing to let go of and your guides just came in and they're like, you know what, those situations are over with. We're not going to do this. You're too powerful for this. You're too powerful and too strong to be in these situations with karmic partners, with dead end jobs, with stag with just toxic negative energy you're you're too powerful for this your spiritual path is too important for your guys to let you just allow yourself to be drained by these by toxic people and toxic situations so i think the divine kind of intervened and you might have had just come out of these tower moments where these toxic relationships and friendships and different situations ended um even like living situations jobs whatever it might be because the divine is like, no, you need to get on your spiritual path. Like, you're too good for this energy. You're too good for this person. You're too good for this job. Get on your real path. Take, you know, take your strength and your power, your willpower and your confidence back. And, you know, reclaim yourself. Do soul retrieval. Um, get yourself back. You know, just, just completely reclaim yourself. So, yeah, the divine intervened to get you back on track to um, to ascension into your life, your life purpose and to your life partner as well, to manifesting your true life partner. Because I think in the past you wasted a lot of time with a karmic partner. And I think that your guys were just kind of done with that. And this card keeps wanting to pop out too. I've never felt this way before. So there's someone who's like, again, they're just enthralled by you and they know they can't just let it go. So let's pull some cards on their energy as well and see what's going on with them.
All right. So what is your person? What do we need to know about your person? So there's <laughs> got to be specific because, like I said, you have multiple people. I feel like the toxic ex, you've let go of them or you're in the process of letting go of them. So that's good. So let's not pick up. Okay, let's put the intention in. We're not going to pick up on his or her energy. Um, so let's look into the life partner because I think there's one life partner and then there's one or two other people at least maybe more that are just admiring you just the, the way you dress the way you talk your mannerisms your strength they're just stalking you you're you have a lot of admirers a lot of secret admirers right now for sure um i keep getting that energy with you and it's stronger now than it was a month ago so it's like you're leveling up more and more you're you know i think you went through some kind of chaotic imbalance like tower moments where it's like you really had to be pushed to ascend but, but you are ascending for sure um, so what is, let's look into the life partner. So whoever, if, you know, life partner, soulmate, like the, the true love in this situation, what are they feeling and thinking? What's going on with that? What do we need to know about that? That one. <clears throat> what do we need to know about that? Taking it slow, pulling them in and getting to know each other. See, uh, look how seductive she is, and that's how this person sees you. It's like you're this like seductress, like you know, you are pulling them in. There, I think there's just this desire to take it slow. There, um, apology, regret, dreams, visions, telepathy, social life, clubs, parties, toxicity. And this is this is probably about. Well, I'm gonna see what the cards say, but this isn't. If this is a life partner, it's not about them. It's just kind of saying what you're coming through. Toxicity, red flags, hidden motives, uh, publicity, social media, truth, clarity, and divine intervention. Okay. Okay. So this is. I think this is a quick message. I'm gonna pull more cards again in a minute. Um, sometimes even when I try to ask a question, if your guides want to tell you something, they'll just take over and they'll control the cards and not answer the question until I've answered what they want me to, until I've shown you what they want me to show you. So this is for those of you that have not let go of the toxic karmic yet. Um, it seems like it's kind of saying that, you know, you are trying, you are being seductive and you are seductive and you are pulling them in. And you might get this apology from them, but I don't know if you're going to want it when you get it. I think you, you're leveling up so quickly. I don't know if when this, come back, when this comes back around, I'm not so sure you're going to want it. Because this is like telepathic communication, dreams, visions. And with clubs, parties, and social life, um, and then we have toxicity and red flags and hidden motives. And then we have social media and publicity right here. I think all these three cards go together, basically. Um, and they're basically saying like you might find out something on or maybe you just found out or you're about to find out something on social media. Maybe you just you might see them partying all the time or in this like devil kind of energy, like this toxic stagnant energy or just having this social life without you and neglecting you and ghosting you. And it's like you want to be a part of their life, but they're not allowing you to be. Um, I think you're having these this in, these intuitive flashes or these visions like just there might be some truth that's coming out that you are going to find out publicly like on social media you know and i think you're going to realize just how toxic this situation really is you're going to see the red flags i think your guides have been trying to show you the red flags through your dreams and visions and just telepathically communicating and trying to warn you um this person is kind of like they party too much or they're shallow or they don't commit got commitment issues that kind of energy um and if they can't show you through telepathy i think they're going to you're going to see something on social media. This could also just be synchronicity on social media. Like you're seeing all these memes on Facebook or Instagram or some website that like kind of say what you're going through when it's starting to hit you. Like, okay, enough is enough. You know, like this is, I've been doing this too long. And yeah, the truth is going to come out. Whatever's, whatever truth was hidden in this toxic connection, it's going to come out. You're going to get some clarity. You're going to get some answers. You might be getting some closure here, I think. Um, and again, you know, just divine intervention, synchronicity. Your guides have just said, 
enough is enough. You deserve more than this situation. You deserve to be with your life partner. You don't want to keep wasting energy on this other person. So let's see if they'll actually show me something about the life partner. For some of you, I just think that you're still coming out of the, um, you're just starting to let go of the, the toxic karmic. So sometimes they don't want to show me too. Sometimes I'll try to ask about a life partner and it's like, I think they, sometimes they don't show you because they don't want, um, I feel like sometimes when we know, like, I don't know, like maybe if you know too much, you might overthink it or you might worry about it. Um, and so sometimes it just helps not to know. But can you, will you guys tell me anything about the the life partner? Can you guys tell me anything about this, this uh, new love that's here or this person that's been watching you that actually is good for you? Because um, we've got one stupid admirer in particular that I feel that really is like your person, you know? And then we have a couple others where, like, there's some potential there, but not really long-term potential. Um, so trapped, blocks tied up. Um, and then we have listening and understanding, new perspective. True love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. So it's kind of like the first spread that we did where you were trapped and you were stagnant for a while and you were just kind of in limbo and waiting for your, your the seed you planted to come, come through. And now those seeds are finally blooming for you. And you have this new perspective. You have this new love. You have this new open-minded outlook that you're coming into this this. You're just leveling up very quickly. You're starting to listen and understand and take a step back and really um, see things from a, from a new perspective. And you're allowing yourself to be vulnerable and receptive. We got publicity, social media, fear of a fear of rejection. So yeah, it's like this person is. You're, this person is really vulnerable to you. They're really receptive to you. They're really open to you. But I feel like, again, I think they're just kind of watching you on social media. It's like they don't know how to approach you. They're kind of shy. They're kind of sweet, awkward, afraid of rejection. They're just not sure what to say. They're not sure if you would take them um, back, you know. And so let's see what we have here. So we've got codependency and addiction. We've got choosing their words wisely and planning their approach. And we have courage, assertiveness, motivation, and forward movement. So that is really positive. I feel like, I feel like they might be working through their own codependency and addiction. Like they might have, they might have actual like addictions that they're working through right now. Um, and they, maybe they don't want to bring that drama into your life. I feel like for the most part, though, it's it's focusing more on the codependency. Like, they're trying to be more assertive and they're trying not to be too co codependent because they don't want to scare you off. I feel like this person is just sh so shy and they're so in their head that I think in the past, I really do feel like for the majority of you in the past, I really do feel like the per this person has actually tried to make an effort but I don't, maybe you were like just not in the right headspace for it or something where you just, you didn't realize what they were trying to say or do. Like you didn't fully understand they were trying to make the effort that they were trying to make. You know what I mean? And so maybe they're just worried because they don't want to come on too strong. They don't want to come off as codependent. Um, they don't want to rely on you too much either. Like if you're going through your own crap, they don't want to put too much on you. And so they're kind of thinking like, okay, well, I tried to ask this person out before or I tried to like, I liked all their pictures. Like, I think it's someone that like doesn't realize that their little hints aren't strong enough. It's like, I liked all their pictures. Why didn't they like my pictures back? Or like something stupid like that, like where it's like they need, they need to be more assertive and they need to be more independent and more more assertive i think they're trying to be on your level more and trying to be to level up and be good enough for you too and and so they're kind of just like planning their approach better because they're so shy and awkward and they're trying to figure out just what to how to word things they're really choosing their words wisely because like i said there's a lot at stake here for them i, I think because for some of you guys this is a friend or a coworker, and so they know if they come on too strong and scare you off, they could lose you altogether. And there is that huge fear of just, 
it's almost like it's better for them to dream than and than to risk losing you for some of them. They feel that way, you know. Um, so they're just planning their approach. They're not sure what to do, but they are. They really are like focused on this. They really do want to figure out how to woo you, how to how to you know. And it makes sense if you haven't let go of the toxic karmic fully. It's like they're for those of you that haven't, but they are coming into this this courage and assertiveness and you know motivation and just in forward movement and and finally. I think they're finally having these realizations that they need to, to be more assertive. They can't just drop these little hints here and there. They can't casually ask you out when you're rushed or late for work or in the wrong mindset and expect you to understand what they're trying to say. I think that they are, they need to, they're improving their social skills right now, I think. Okay, let's get some final messages really quick. I made both these decks, um, and so these... I don't have my shots up yet. I'm still, I know I keep talking about doing it. I don't have it up yet. But um, if you are interested in buying either of these decks, just message me at my email below. And also, if you'd like to book a private reading from me, you can um, message me at my email below. My prices are listed in the detail section. So let's get some final messages. Okay. There's so much that I want to say to you. Yeah. See, your person is just like really overthinking. They're like, okay, I want to, I don't want to come on too strong, but I don't want to keep doing what I've done in the past and not say enough and have you not understand what they're trying to, that they're trying to pursue you, you know, or they don't want to get, they don't want to be in the friend zone. Is that kind of energy? It's like, they, they want to say so much and they're just really, they think you're so perfect. So they're trying to be perfect for you and they're struggling to, to figure out how to, how to do that and what to say. I was afraid of how quickly I was falling in love with you, so I ran away. So I think sometimes they do get scared that you're feeling that their feelings are one-sided. I don't think it's, I don't know if it's necessarily that the feelings are one-sided. I think maybe you just hadn't fully considered the potential that was here. Maybe you just had a lot going on. Um, you know, someone could, I don't know. I don't feel like, I feel like they are vulnerable with you, but they have a hard time communicating and expressing it. You hold the key, clear the path for love to enter. So yeah, your energy is just drawing them in. You know, you're you, you're making this happen for yourself because you're putting that intention out there. I think you've been putting that intention out there for a while for true love to enter, for like to manifest your life partner. And I think you had your your heart set on a specific person, and I think now you're realizing it wasn't the person you thought it was going to be. My guides constantly remind me of you. I can't escape the synchronicity. Your, your name comes up in conversation. So yeah, they're being pushed to have courage. They're being pushed to stop being a shy, scared little baby and really let you know how they feel. You know, stop being so afraid to lose you. They need to, they need to step up. I'm jealous. I'm scared you already are that you will end up dating someone else. So for some of you, this person does know about the, um, the karmic that you were with or that you're currently leaving. And they are jealous of it, you know. They 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 don't want to just be a rock and be supportive while you're going through that. They want to show you what you deserve. I'm waiting for you to give me a clear opening. I don't know how you feel. I want clarity and certainty before I reach out. So that's yeah, that's the, the energy from this reading that we've been getting. You know, they're waiting for that clear, direct opening. They're really scared that if they say the wrong thing, they're gonna lose you altogether or that. They're going to overwhelm you or that it's just they're going to they're just so they're so in their head about you um, and they're just not sure they're not certain about it but they know how they feel they know that they love you they just don't know if you love them or not there's someone new coming into your life so again you have multiple potential partners here it's not just one person i mean you've got like i said you're a magnet for love and it's just it's coming in more and more and more you planted the seeds and then it's like overnight practically they just all of them all those roses just blossoms blossomed all at once you know and it's like oh wow shit i have all this potential now i have this love and career and abundance and whatever i want the world is my oyster uh it's it's really good energy that you guys have so i hope that resonates um and like I said, if you want to book a reading or buy the cart by either of these decks for me, just go ahead and reach out and um, subscribe if this resonates with you. I do these readings pretty regularly. I'm going to be doing um, Twin Flame and Soulmate readings in the near future as well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.